the answer to the question, is it technically possible? Absolutely. With today's technology, we can, uh, we can launch a human uh, venture to Mars. Now, it'll be very, very expensive. And we will have to you know, justify that, that huge expenditure, likely by en enlisting the collaboration of the spacefaring nations of the globe uh, to do it jointly. Actually, um, NASA has created what they call design reference missions that involve um, pre-positioning fuel, pre-positioning a habitat, uh, pre-positioning a communication system, and a return device in, in Martian orbit. Claire, I think that is an absolutely wonderful idea. Uh, there are places on the moon where we have uh, water in the form of ice embedded inside the lunar regolith. Of course, water is an essential building block to sustaining human life, and being able to extract that water uh, out of the lunar regolith and use it to drink, to, um, to disassociate into oxygen and hydrogen, oxygen to breathe and hydrogen to use for fuel, uh, I cannot think of a, of a next natural step that mankind could take off the planet other than to set up a permanent colony uh, on the moon. I feel as though we can't afford not to do it. Uh, as you had mentioned, we're not doing a wonderful job of taking care of our planet here on Earth. Um, I wonder if perhaps, you know, we always expect the best, but you know, sometimes bad things happen. And is it good to perhaps sit out and maybe make a place that somebody can go um, in the event something bad happens on Earth? So and that's not the only reason to go, but that is a reason to consider sort of a preservation of the species theory. And uh, I, I, I personally believe it's a great insurance policy for the human race. My name is Christopher Ferguson. Uh, I'm a former NASA astronaut, and I've uh, flown on uh, three different shuttle flights. I now work for the Boeing Company as the Deputy Program Manager for Operations for the CST-100 Starliner Commercial Crew Program. Mr. Ferguson.